everyone. I hope you are doing well today. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to make this video just to talk quickly about an issue that I have faced and really probably almost every creator has faced over time. And that is just kind of receiving nasty comments. All right. Now, I generally don't do videos like this. I'll, I make videos sometimes about, you know, just talking about how I feel about something. So let me tell you, there are people with personalities more repellent than bug spray that have told me in one way or another that I'm problematic. Now, if you ask me, I make the kind of content that um, sometimes is informative, sometimes it's just kind of just like regular, maybe even like mundane, I don't know. Some of you watch my videos, some of you don't. But, um, but yeah, I, I don't think I, I make any videos that would cause a reaction in people, but you would be surprised. So <laughs> I'm gonna tell you a couple of comments that I've received. Now I'm not talking about comments that are just generally constructive. Now there, there are uh, people on social media, social media influencers that cannot take constructive feedback uh, or any kind of feedback that tells them, hey, you know, maybe you wanna try doing this or that. I'm not talking about stuff like that because that's just a regular exchange of ideas and people generally when they are saying stuff like that they think that they're helping you. Sometimes they are, sometimes they're not. But I'm not talking about that stuff like that. I'm talking about, um, let's say for example, there was one person that said, because you know I have sometimes, I have a leaderboard in front of some of my videos where I have, you know, people who donated to me, right, I'll give like their, um, their first name or their nickname, right? And somebody wrote in a comment, said, why would anybody ever donate to your PayPal? So it's not that they don't understand why someone would donate, it's that they are trying to tell me they don't see value in anything I do or say. And that's okay, right? It's okay if you don't find value in anything I do. But look, man, you came to my channel. So what are you doing with your time that you are finding me valuable enough to say something like that to, okay? Hey, people, people donate for a number of reasons. And, and I put that leaderboard up to say thank you. Sometimes I, I say their names and everything like that. But, um, but yeah, I mean, if you don't find me valuable, I would think that you would just click off, right? Anyway, so, so that's one of them. And I'll tell you another thing. I can tell by the screen name and avatar of some people who leave these comments that they have more in air in their head than a bowl of Rice Krispies. And they're going to try to tell me, you know, that I have, that I have issues, you know, <laughs> or that I'm stupid or something like that. You know, you, you really just never know what to expect online. Hey, this is not just online, right? A lot of people Probably most people have experienced stuff like this in their everyday life. You go to work, you go to school every day, you just don't know what you're going to encounter. Or maybe you do know what to encounter. Maybe there's somebody that just makes your life miserable, right? And in that case, you can't really get away from these people easily. So sometimes, you know, you might blow up at them. Sometimes you might be a little more measured and controlled about it. Sometimes you might go to a third party to help you handle it, right? That's why, look, in my real life, I'll tell you something. I am very limited in the people I let into my real life every day. Like when I encounter people outside and things like that, I'm just, I'm very measured. I used to be very friendly, right? But now I'm not unfriendly, right? But I'm just, I'm kind of very measured with people. I try to be very neutral. Because one thing I've learned in my life, people can be very destructive to your life. They can be very positive too. But you, you learn over your lifetime that you have to be very careful with people. All right, now online, it's easier, right? Online is easier to handle things because really you can just shut it off. You can delete comments, you can block people and stuff like that. All right, and, and that's how people handle it. But, but the thing is, it's the same type of personality. Whether they do something to you in real life or they do or they say something to you online, it's the same type of personality doing it. Maybe, maybe these people wouldn't do that to you in real life, but there's other people that do, right? So anyway, my point I'm trying to say is you come to my channel, 
you get what you want out of my channel. You don't have anything nice to say. If you leave a nasty comment, hey, I'm just going to delete it. I just don't care, right? Another comment that I received was over... Uh, I said in one of my videos that I really liked the um, Stepford Wives movies, all right? And so this person went out of their way to go to my Facebook page and say, I'm really glad you told me that you um, like the Stepford Wives because now I know I don't have to waste any time on your channel. Good luck with your brainless life. And I just, okay, fine. I like the Stepford Wives. I'm never going to stop liking the Stepford Wives. If you have such a strong reaction to that, that says something about you. Okay, I'm happy with what I like. I'm happy with what I say. Happy with what I do online, usually, right? And I went to this woman's Facebook. Um, I just cl clicked really quickly, and uh, it was everything was political on it. And I stay away from things like that. I stay away from political stuff. There are people that throw political things into my comments. And um, a lot of times I just leave them there because they're not really problematic. But when someone expects me to conform to their ideal of what, I don't know, a woman should be thinking or saying, that's something I just shut out. Because I am who I am. I'm not changing. Alright? And I've got to tell you guys, like, if you encounter any of this stuff online yourself, you really just, you handle it however you want to handle it. I generally, I just get rid of the comments. I don't give any kind of, um, any energy to it usually, except for this video. <laughs> um, but yeah, there are people that leave me comments that are like paragraphs long, that have feedback in it. And sometimes it's useful, sometimes it's nothing I can really do with, or nothing I'm really interested in doing with. But I still, you know, I generally, I value what people say. But when all they have to do is just be insulting, that is just something I find no value in. I find no value in that. And I'm just surprised that they want to take the time um, to really go that far. So, I don't know, guys. I don't know what you're thinking, but hey, um, people... They can donate to me if they want to, if they, they don't have to, but for someone to say that I don't provide any value or I don't provide any, um, you know, they just don't get why somebody would do that. That's what people do with influencers sometimes. They just, if they like you, they'll send you something sometimes. But hey, that's completely voluntary, right? <laughs> And, uh, yeah, so anyway, guys, thanks for listening to me for this. I generally don't go, <laughs> go on little rants and stuff like that. And um, I know I'll continue to get nasty comments. It's just the nature of people sometimes. It's just what some people do. I want you to know I really appreciate all of you. And um, I, I really hope that you have a good day. And um, I really just don't. I hope you really don't care what people really think of you. And, uh, yeah. I'll talk to you guys again soon. Thanks for listening.